how much of an 80% alloy must be mixed with a 60% gold alloy to make 60 ounces of a 70% gold alloy. So you have, this is an alloy problem, okay? An alloy is a mixture of metals, okay? So what you have here is, it's asking how much of an 80% gold alloy must be mixed with a 60% gold alloy to produce uh, uh, 60 ounces of a 70% gold alloy. So you're taking a 80% uh, pure gold alloy uh, and you're mixing it with a much less pure 60% gold alloy and you're ending up with something in the middle, 70% gold. Uh, and you're, you want to know how much of this uh, gold alloy do you need, the 80% gold alloy do you need to do this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to let the variable x be equal to what we're trying to solve for. So x is going to be equal uh, to the amount of 80% alloy needed. That's what we're trying to solve for. How much, it says how much of an 80% alloy. So whatever it is, it's going to be x. We don't know what it is yet though, okay? All right, so then you know right away because when you do the mixture, and it tells you that you're making 60 ounces of something, you know right away uh, that 60 minus x is going to be equal to the amount, whoops, I wrote this down wrong, 60 minus x is going to be the amount of 60% alloy used. Okay, we know this is true because don't forget this is a mixture. You add them together and the, you know, there's it's a zero-sum game. You have this much of this plus this much of this gives you this much of that. Okay? The problem tells you that you're going to end up with 60 ounces of something. So I, I've defined x to be however much of this first alloy I need. So then 60 minus x must be the amount of the other one that I used. Because you add them together, they have to equal 60. Okay? So then writing our equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, equate, just like in a mixture problem, I was equating the amount of fat on the left with the fat on the right. Here we're going to equate the amount of gold on the left with gold on the right, okay? So let's do that, okay? This is x, which is the amount of the 80% alloy that I need. That's the amount, okay? Times the 80%, which is in decimal point 8, okay? This is the amount of gold in 80% alloy used. Okay, this is the amount of gold that I dump into this mixture, okay? Plus, and we just talked about this, 60 minus x, which is the amount of the 60% alloy used, times 0 0.60, okay? Uh, because, you know, when you, when you talk about all alloys, 80% alloy, it means 80% of that alloy is gold. 60% of this other alloy is gold, okay? So I'm trying to equate gold here. So this is the amount of the other alloy used, 60% of it is gold, so that's what this is, okay? So this entire thing is the amount of gold uh, in 60% alloy used, okay? This is the amount of gold there. Then in the end, when you add them together, you're going to get 60 ounces of something, okay? That's 70% pure gold, okay? So this is the amount of gold in mixture. Okay, so I wrote an equation that talks about how much gold total I have. Okay, this is the amount of gold in the 80% alloy that I mixed in, this is the amount of gold in the 60% alloy that I mixed in, and this is the amount of gold in the total end result when I mix them both together. Different percent, different amount. Okay, so now you can do this. You can solve this equation. Uh, X times 0 0.8 plus 60 times 0.6 is uh, 36, uh, minus x times 0 0.6. You just have to take the 6 times the 60 gives you the 36. 6, 0.6 times negative x gives you negative 0.6x. Equal to 60 times 0.7 is 42. Okay, now we're going to add these terms here together. 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 gives you 0.2 plus 36 is equal to 42. And then we're going to take 36 and move it over here by subtracting from both sides. So you get 42 minus 36. Okay. Leave this alone here. 42. Uh, 42 minus 36 is going to just simply be 6. 
okay? And then x is going to be 6 divided by 0 0.2. You divide both sides by the 0.2, okay? And so then uh, x is going to be 30%, or 30, uh, 30 ounces. Because x, don't forget, was the amount. Uh, so it's 30 ounces of 80% alloy used. Okay, 30 ounces, okay. So the trick is writing this equation here. When you're doing the mixtures, you know, you're generally gonna be writing an equation in terms of, of what you're mixing together. So here's the, here's the amount of gold mixed with this alloy, mixed with the amount of gold and this other alloy that I mixed, gives me a total amount of gold over here when I've done the mixture in total, and then that, that sets the problem up so I can solve it. 